All right, so today we're gonna to be moving this colony of Atatexana. See, there's a queen here, a couple queens up top here, uh, into this container here, their new nest. So we'll be using spoons actually to scoop the fungus out. This will be a very tedious process, but fast. This video shouldn't be more than a couple minutes long. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the spoon situated and we'll pop this off. The workers are going to go absolutely insane. I've applied a thin layer of flu on to kind of keep everything contained so I don't crush any and I'm gonna put the lid back on. And once all the fungus is out, we will dump the remainder of the workers into the outworlds here. So, without further ado, I guess let me get some featherweights real quick just in case the queen needs to be picked up. Got featherweights now, so we'll go ahead and pop this lid off, which is gonna send the colony into a rampage. Oh yeah. See, I have it taped on here for some reason. Get that off. Oh, I'm getting swarmed. Not pleasant. Okay, I am now covered in Ada. So that, ah, uh, this is very painful. Go ahead and sweep those off. Try to get as many off my fingers and hands as possible. I should have worn gloves. I should have worn gloves. Thankfully, I haven't got bit by a major yet. You might just have to suck it up and just keep going. You can see the nest is absolutely swarming right now. This colony is around 10,000 workers and six queens, if I remember correctly. So, and they are a year and a half old. They would be bigger, but I used this entire colony and reduced them to a size of a apple last year to boost every single out of Texana colony that I caught this year. So they should be much bigger, but they are still at a very sizable point for their age. Usually out of Texana take about three years to really hit that exponential growth curve while other species take only a year. All right, so now that my hands are pretty much cleared, Let's go ahead and get the spoons and begin this process. I don't know how much weight of fungus I can do at a time. It's a nice sizable chunk there of the garden. Gently set that down. All right, let's do some more. Just slowly just slice into the colony. There went a queen, another queen fell off. Set that down. I'm trying to set them down about how they were, posi were positioned inside of this chamber. This, this white slash yellowish fungus is the older fungus. And it is usually where all the larvae are stored. If you see this gray on top, that is new fungus additions. So it is like the new leaves that have been added. The really, you know. I feed them le rose leaves, petals. Oh, and my hands were cleaned prior to this. Rinsed thoroughly, as well as cleaned. I did not use fragrant fragranced soap. So that way we do not risk contaminating this fungus. All airflow is off in the room as well and there are several queens now in the it appears to be the remnants of the garden we're gonna have to hand pick up these queens so I will not risk using the spoon on them it will take the ants quite a while to rebuild this garden probably a week or longer my hands are absolutely covered I'm surprised I'm not bleeding yet so let's go ahead and get the queens that we can see into the new new chamber. So we'll go ahead and use featherweights. They're real easy to pick up. And sorry, I had a low battery come up. Hopefully I can record all of this. Another queen here, that makes two. I don't know if we've gotten any more inside the thing yet. See the third, I'm now they're at a, all over my body at this point. This makes three, so this queen's playing dead. This is a cool adaptation Ada Texana have, as well as many other Ada. Sorting through, I'm seeing a lot of larvae down here at the bottom, lots of workers carrying brood. 
Not seeing really any more queens in the mix, which is actually great because I do not want to have to worry about stressing them out more by scooping them out this fungus. So let's go ahead and here's the hands now. Starting to get a lot of irritation in between my fingers and probably start bleeding here pretty soon as they are starting to break the skin. Let's go ahead and get this fungus. Gently scoop it up with the spoon. Add it to there. Now it's starting to get a little bit unscoopable, and if that's even a word. So we're gonna start using featherweights, some of these chunks, try to build it up. Towards the end, I might honestly rotate it and dump the remaining bottom fungus because it's gonna end up on the bottom anyways. I don't wanna tear it apart more by trying to scrape it off the bottom. It's actually what I'm going to do now and it'll keep me from really touching it. So we're gonna have to move the fungus to a corner like this. We're gonna slowly, it's, we're touching now, we're touching the tops of the fungus, forearm strength right here, and a little bit of a shake. Slowly shoveling that in, really to help mitigate the breaking by scooping. Still have it in some good clumps. Go ahead and spread that out evenly. The ants will rebuild this. All right, so it looks like now we've got just about all the fungus out. There is a little bit left, but not too bad. All right, now the fun part begins of cleaning off. <sighs> See, I'm getting real agitated on the hands now. They are not liking this. My whole body is covered with leaf cutters. So I'm gonna start tapping the workers in inside this. There's no fungus left, so now we can simply just start tapping. Easier said than done. I should have gotten a paintbrush, try to scrape off my hands a little bit to alleviate this pain of Ada literally chewing up my skin in the most painful places in between your fingers. Thankfully, no majors have gotten me yet. Oh yeah, so we got, do have some blood starting to come out. That's okay though. Uh, you can see there's an insane amount of out of workers inside of this container right now. Thankfully I decided to use this. This is the same container I used last video with my Myrmacosis Placidops movement. But as you can see, this is just not doing well for me. I am getting annihilated by Ada annihilated but we are getting we are making progress it's still a good amount of workers i've got them crawling up and down my neck my hair all over my legs so this is going to take a little bit of time all right looks pretty good Go ahead, i'm about to set this bucket down actually let me get a, i guess i can get a paintbrush and get the rest out Luckily the Fluon is still holding up on the big chamber, otherwise we'd be in a heap of trouble right now. Oh, I just got bit again. All right, I'm getting a paintbrush for the rest of this really fast. All right, so we got a paintbrush now. We're gonna go ahead and dust out the rest of the workers out of this bin, and then we will do everyone's favorite dump of out of workers. And if anyone is gonna complain about the dump, they are falling onto their fungus, so it's like landing on a hay bale. It is very soft, it's a sponge. The workers will take no fall damage. They fall off of trees all the time in the wild and are just fine. And this, I, mean, I don't know if there's any other way to really move this many workers without having to dump them. I will not pick them up one by one with tweezers. So let's go ahead and finish this part off with Little bit more, we got a couple on this cotton right here. A couple more there. Get my fingers off. Nice and oop, shook that a little bit. Get my hands all cleaned up. A few on my fingers. And a couple left. Yep. Okay, we are good to go. Fingers are clear. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Got a good amount. Get these off. They are digging into my skin. See the damage there. A lot of blood spots. 
Those will calm down though. All right, let's get them with the spoons. And off of our featherweights. Okay. There we go. That is how you remove and add a colony. And now we will go ahead and get, here's the workers that were left. Go ahead and tap those. This is not damaging the workers at all. It's just a little vibration. Nice little clump. We'll get as close to the fungus as we can. A little shake. A little more of a tap. Get the, all the rest of them out. And there we go. We'll now move the colony. All right, I accidentally ended that last clip there. But we have now moved the colony into here. See, they are crawling. Those workers. And now I'll close it up and let them do their thing.